Alright, so we're gonna go and meet my parents tomorrow, right? I'm a little worried about something, so I thought that I should warn you before we go. What are you worried about? I just spoke to my parents on the phone, and it looks like my dad... Uh, well, it sounds like he really has got something against you. What? Really? But we've never even met before. What could he have against me? Is he really that protective of you? Kind of. It's more like he thinks that we gotta marry into someone that's worthy of being in our family, since I guess you can say that we have it all. We have the education, the money, the influence. I mean, all of our family has graduated from a renowned university. He wants the people that join our family to be just as high up on the ladder as we are. So? What's the problem? I went to a pretty famous university too. Or is it not famous enough? Well, yeah, the problem isn't you exactly, it's your background. I didn't know that your dad was a single parent. You've never told me that he raised you by himself. But my dad knew somehow. Wait, wait, I told you that my mom passed away. I didn't think that I would have to tell you that that means that my dad is a single parent. Well, I knew about your mom, but I didn't think that he was still alone. When you hear that someone's from a single-parent household, you get the impression that they're not exactly financially stable. You understand that, right? What? Troy, what are you even saying? That doesn't make any sense at all. Do you understand that that's called prejudice? Anyway, I think that's why my dad doesn't like you. My mom told me that he's been in a bad mood recently because of that. So I just want you to be careful with what you say to him tomorrow. We don't want to anger him any further. You're telling me to be careful? How am I supposed to do that? I haven't even done anything wrong, so how am I supposed to take care not to make him angry? I'm not going to walk around on eggshells. I don't understand where this is all coming from, but if he already hates me, then obviously there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just going to be myself and work towards getting to know him. And have him get to know the real me. Everything's going to be fine, so you don't have to worry. You've got a lot of nerve coming into my house and trying to slither your way into my family. A woman like you doesn't deserve to be with my son. You're beneath him. You should take that back, Mason. You're being extremely rude. You were insulting my dad, too. What you've said is absolutely unforgivable. You and that father of yours, did you really think that you could become a part of our family if you got closer to my son and married him? You're beneath us. You don't have the right. You must be stupid if you think that I'm going to let you get away with this. I'm not interested in becoming family with someone who speaks like that to someone they've only just met. And the prejudices you have against single-parent households is just ridiculous, too. I don't want to have anything to do with your so-called super-elite family. You don't have the right to reject us. We're the ones that want nothing to do with people like you. You must have thought that marrying into our family was a chance for you to become rich yourselves. But you're not getting your dirty hands on any of my money. And you're not marrying my son either. If you keep on acting like a gold digger like that, then you'll never get married. It's no wonder you're still single at your age. Excuse me? There's no point in trying to hide it. I heard from Troy that you're older than he is. Which means that you're over 30. If a woman's not married by the time she's 25, that can only mean that something's wrong with her. In other words, you're after our money. You can't trick me, you're a fortune hunter. You should take a good look at yourself and your background before you go out and try and find another victim. Next time, you should aim a lot lower instead of trying to reach for someone that's out of your league. You and my son were never going to make it as a couple. He's too good for you. And you only have your ignorance to blame if you can't realize that. Mason, I think you should be careful with what you say to me. You're going to regret being this rude, and you'll wish that you could take it back when it's too late. Why should I take care with what I say to you? You're just a gold digger. I can say whatever I like to someone like you. Do you want to know why? It's because someone with your background doesn't have the power to stop me. You say that I'm going to regret this. <laughs> As if. What can you do to make me apologize? Nothing! I understand the love you have for your only son. 
and wanting the best for him, including the best partner. But that doesn't mean that you can talk to people however you want. You were rude enough to insult me and my father the minute I walked through your door. And now you've gone out of your way to contact me online just to continue your verbal abuse. It's pathetic. And you really consider yourself a part of the higher end of society? As an elite? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. And you wouldn't, since you're not one of us. We have pride in being elites, and we have a duty to uphold our reputation. If I let Troy marry you, it would mean the end of that reputation. Especially now that I know your father didn't even go to high school. An embarrassment like that has to be avoided at all costs. Excuse me? How did you even find out about that? My dad's never told you that, and I've never told Troy either. How did you find out about my dad's education? And about my dad being a single parent? It seems like Troy never told you, so how did you know? I guess it's difficult for a poor person like you to understand. Rich people have their own ways of finding information that someone like you could never dream of. It must be a shock, but this is proof that you would never have made it in our family. Enough with the derogatory comments. Would you hurry up and tell me how you found out about my dad? You're starting to creep me out. You? Ordering me around? God, you even sound uneducated. But I'll tell you. It's easy for me to hire someone to investigate someone like you. Money makes the world go round, and having a lot of money myself? <laughs> I can do whatever I want. I have the sort of education that you can only dream of, and with it I can have a career that's out of your reach, and money that you'll never get. Once someone is born into the lowly circumstances you're stuck with, they can never escape it. The only life you'll ever know is lacking in financial stability, lacking in good education, and wanting of good morals. You really sound like you're enjoying this. But I'm warning you, I'm going to report everything you've said to my dad. Do whatever you like, I doubt that he can ever do anything to me. Oh, and maybe it was difficult for an idiot like you to understand, but the engagement is off. You're not marrying my son. I'm not going to allow you to marry into our family, not now and not ever. We've all been to top universities in our country. Why should we let someone like you get in our way? I never imagined that my own fiancé's husband would cancel the engagement, but I'm not upset by it at all. If anything, I'm relieved. The only thing I'm disappointed about is that your son wasn't the man I thought he was. Now I know what he's really like. I don't want to marry him. I've already told him that I don't want to marry him myself. I'm not interested in becoming family with someone who thinks that he can insult people based on their education. And he didn't even try to defend me while you were shouting abuse at me. He was too afraid to argue back to you. When I saw that he wasn't even going to try and come between us, I lost all of my feelings for him. It made me wonder why I even fell in love with him in the first place. Our family has a strong bond. Of course he wouldn't talk back to me for a woman like you. He knows better than that. It takes an education to teach people who they should really side with. And he made the right choice by not defending you. We don't need someone like you disrupting our family bond. I told you, I have no intention of marrying your son anymore. So there's no need for you to talk down to me like that. I made the right choice by hiring that private investigator to look into you and your family. What? I found out a lot of interesting things about you. I didn't want some random woman making her way into my son's life and getting her dirty hands on our money. I should have been more wary and stopped him from even dating a woman like you. But at the very least, I managed to stop him from ruining his life by marrying you. You actually went out of your way to investigate us? Wow, you're so committed. So you really think that your family's reputation is worth that much effort to protect? You must think very highly of yourself. Of course I do. Our family is special. We have dignity, unlike people like you. The private investigator informed me that your father didn't even go to high school. There's no way that I can let you start a family with our Troy knowing that you're going to mix your uneducated blood into our family. 
You're not marrying Troy, and that's final. Well, my dad says that you're fired. <laughs> what? I'm tired of talking to you, so I've already told him everything that you've said to me. At first, I was willing to just accept breaking off the engagement because Troy and I were probably just not meant for each other. And I was willing to ignore how rude you had been to me when I visited. But you've gone too far, Mason. You said too much about me and my dad, and now we're both furious. My dad's shocked that you could be so discriminatory and has decided he doesn't want you working in his company anymore. What the hell are you talking about? He can't do anything to me. He's just a middle school graduate. He doesn't have the power to fire me. Listen to me, Mason. You're working in the company that my dad founded after he graduated from middle school. He's your employer, asshole. What did you say? Let me correct myself. You're not even working in his company. You're working in some distant child company that doesn't even have much affiliation with him. What are you talking about? You don't even know what he looks like, do you? The CEO of your parent company? You wouldn't, because you don't have any reason to. Since you're not even a manager of any kind, you're just a simple office worker. But you should have gotten his picture when you investigated us, right? How about you look up the CEO of the company you're working for? I think you'll recognize him. Because he'll have the same face as the man in the picture who you got from your PI. What? You're kidding. I'm not. Look it up and see for yourself. If you take a look at the company homepage, you'll find my dad's picture. It's true. It really is the same picture. No way. Your father is the CEO? Of our parent company? That's why I warned you not to insult my dad. So, how does it feel to be fired by the very guy that you were insulting for being beneath you and inferior to you? Is it embarrassing? Do you feel humiliated? I hope so, because you definitely deserve it. Wait a minute, is this really true? Are you the CEO's daughter? But why? I didn't know. I, I didn't know about any of this. The investigator never told me that your father owned a company, let alone the company that I work at. What, did the PI only tell you that my dad was a middle school graduate? That's a shame. He must have wasted a lot of money to get that lousy information. But even if you didn't know, nothing's going to change my dad's mind. You should just give up and work on fixing your manners and finding another job. I'm very sorry. What? I apologize for being so rude towards you and the CEO. I got ahead of myself and made a lot of unpleasant remarks that hurt you and your father. It was because I didn't know who you really were. If I did, I wouldn't have said that. I really regret my actions towards you, and I hope that you'll find it in your hearts to forgive me. Please, let me apologize. I'm sincerely extremely sorry. It was unacceptable for me to speak to you like that. It's too late for you to start apologizing now. The damage has already been done. Besides, we're not interested in accepting your apology. Please, don't say that. I really didn't mean to insult you like that. Please, hear me out. It was the investigator's fault. They must have made a mistake and sent me the wrong information. I didn't mean to be so rude to you, okay? You've got to believe me. Oh, really? Then how about the lies about you going to university? I think I'm correct when I say you didn't go at all. But I guess you're trying to say that you didn't mean to lie about that as well. What? We already know the truth, Mason. We know that you haven't actually been to university. You lied about being a high school graduate. I can't believe what you're saying. I went to university. I went to one of the top universities in the country. That's why I got the job at your father's company, because of my degree. You should be ashamed of yourself. You are putting yourself on a pedestal, declaring that you are better than everyone else because of your higher education. But in actual fact, you've never been to university. You're a high school graduate. My father had you investigated and found out everything for me. What? You investigated me? You're just a family of vain liars. Or rather, you're the vain one. 
You are trying to present yourself as a superior, important man with a reputation to uphold, but you were lying about everything. To your own family, too. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't lied about anything. Of course you know what I'm talking about. You should know yourself whether you've been to university or not. There's no point lying to us anymore. My dad's already had you investigated by a PI because he was worried about the type of person you were. Huh? You hired a private investigator as well? Yeah. We found out that you're a high school graduate and that you lied about your education to get into my dad's company. My dad had no intention of getting in the way of my engagement to Troy. He just wanted to know what kind of person you were. He trusted my judgment and was willing to ignore what you had done as long as I really did want to marry Troy. He was going to give his blessing for the marriage, but apparently he's changed his mind. He's angry that you could be so insulting, and that you spoke to me like that, and has decided that he wants you gone. He's the CEO, after all. He can't ignore that you faked your CV to get into his company. You already know that much? I never would have imagined that I would be investigated by someone else. I thought that I could hide the truth. If you're able to investigate someone else, you should keep in mind that someone might be investigating you, too. By the way, the PI that you hired was someone that my dad knows. You should know that he has a lot of influence over a lot of local business. What? He knows the investigator I hired? Yeah, the PI kindly let him know that he was his next target. So my dad asked him to keep his current position under wraps and chose what information they could leak to you. He wanted to see how you would react to the information you had been given. What? So you tricked me? So then I was just dancing to your tune without knowing it? Then it's not my fault that I reacted like that. You did it on purpose to make me look like the bad person. We've both done wrong in this situation, so why can't you just overlook what happened? Let's forget about all this. No way, you must be joking. The second you found out about my dad being a middle school graduate, you hated me. Before you even met me. And then, when I went to visit you with Troy, you looked down on me and insulted me. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I didn't know that my dad had investigated you until I told him everything you said, but I'm grateful that he did. I know that he was just thinking about me, and in the end, he didn't use that as a reason to try and get me to cancel the engagement. But you did. But it's not my fault. If I had known that you were the CEO's daughter, I never would have said any of this. I would never have disrespected you the way that I did. To you both, if I knew that he was my boss. I didn't know, so I didn't mean it. You've got to forgive me. Even if my dad wasn't the CEO of your company, you should never have spoken to me like that. You're the lowest of the low for demeaning me like that. Just because you found out that my dad didn't go to high school. You're obviously not fit to call yourself a father, since you've ruined the chance of a happy future your son might have had. And for lying to him about your own education. Plus, you're going to be fired. And won't be able to support your own family, despite priding yourself for being so well off. Please, wait! You can't do this! You're gonna ruin my life for nothing! I haven't done anything wrong! Tell me! Tell me what I've done to deserve this! You still don't understand what you've done? I've already told you enough, so why don't you look back on what you've said to me this past hour and think about it? I don't want to have anything more to do with you or your son, so don't try to contact me again. If you'll excuse me, I've got better things to do. Wait a minute, I'll give you my blessing. You can marry my son. Were you even listening to me? My son says that he still wants to marry you. If I'll let you marry him, so please... He's told me that he's sorry and he wants to get back together, hasn't he? Why don't you? Just forget about everything I said to you today and make up with my son. You were both happy to marry him up until now. Are you going to let a few bad hours change that? Are you really that cold? Just marry him! If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you anymore. I didn't mean anything I said, so if you'll just forgive me... You're getting on my nerves, Mason, you and your son. There's no way I'll be able to forget what you said to me today. And there's no way I want to marry your son. I've already saved screenshots of the conversation we've had online, and I've already shared them with my dad. And I don't love your son anymore. It's as simple as that. 
He didn't even try to stop you or try to defend me. And if anything, he was telling me that I needed to be careful the night before we went to visit you. I've already told him that I'm not interested in forgiving him and that we're never getting back together. You can't do that. What am I supposed to do? I'm going to lose my job. How am I supposed to tell my family? They'll never forgive me. Oh, yeah, about that. I already told Troy that you lied to him and your family about being a university graduate. What? Your entire family knows that you've been lying this entire time. It seems like they're pretty disappointed. Good for you. Now you don't have anything to hide from them. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't ever contact me ever again. I don't want to become family with someone like you. So, I'm never coming back. Goodbye! After that, Mila ignored all of Mason's messages and calls. She officially broke off the engagement with Troy and let her parents know that she wasn't going to marry him. Mason's managers found out from Mila's father that he had been lying about his education and was fired immediately after. His entire family lost all trust in him when they found out the reasons behind him losing his job. He had been so wary of Mila damaging his reputation and had always been a very proud man, so he was even more embarrassed when they heard that he had never been to university. Troy blamed his father for everything that had happened between Mila and himself and didn't think to look back on his own faults before cutting ties with Mason. Mason's wife announced that she wanted a divorce and Mason has been attempting to convince her to take him back. Without much success. They were calling themselves an elite, well-off family, but in the end, they've lost the strong bond that Mason believed they had and have all ended up living alone. Mila was relieved that she didn't have to marry a man with such a pretentious family, and was even thankful for Mason's treatment for helping her realize that she was making a mistake. <laughs>